More Heart Than Talent Radio. More Heart Than Talent Radio is brought to you today by my Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle Coaching Program. If you find yourself struggling to find your breakthrough and frustrated with your results, join my Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle Coaching Program. It's a private video coaching call every other week where I'll be teaching the skill of the week followed by coaching. JCIC members one-on-one live for observation. All calls are recorded and posted in the JCIC members area. Members will have access to the private JCIC Facebook group where they can ask questions, interact with me, my Golden Mastermind team, the other JCIC members, and receive any support required in their breakthrough process. When you enroll, you'll receive the new members welcome kit which includes my new Breakthrough Factor audio program, my Breakthrough Accelerator course, my digital coaching program, and so much more, all for $197. This is no ordinary coaching program. Sign up now to begin your breakthrough process now. Go to goldenmastermind.com forward slash circle to get started today. Jeffrey Combs, President and Founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. Good afternoon, everyone. More heart than talent. Live here, Facebook Live. A lot of inspiring content today and a lot of expiring information to share with you. Today, we launched our new book, The Breakthrough Factor. It is now live on Amazon and approaching bestseller basis. I am on my way to Fort Myers, Florida, where I'll be accepting an award for being an Amazon bestseller and being interviewed on a television station with my very good friend, the iconic T.C. Bradley. T.C. and I go back to 1996, where he and I were top tier income earners in a direct sales company back in the day. T.C. was a multiple six-figure income earner, and he is a very, very big brand branding coach and branding specialist on LinkedIn. So if you want to look him up, that is T.C. Bradley. I've been coaching all day this morning since 5 o'clock, and here we are, 1 o'clock Pacific. Beautiful afternoon here, December 11th, 2018. Two more days, baby, and it's Christmas Day, so two weeks from today. And the GMS <coughs> will be launching some – holiday packages. Great content for you today. What I have for you today is managing yourself in time. This will be a very, very imperative call for you today. The term time management is a misnomer. And I'll be breaking down for you today in about, for about 20 minutes what it means to, is to create value in time, how to separate feelings from events so time is more valuable, how to be and stay focused. Got a little San Pellegrino here and a backup of Starbucks, breakfast of champions, caffeine and sparkling water. What a, what a combination there. Have my trusty pens and my whiteboard, and we are in the flow. This Saturday, we'll be in Atlanta, Georgia with Carlotta Davis. Carlotta is an exceptional woman, very inspired to be able to be on an event she is hosting. That is the 15th. The 29th, I will be in Los Angeles, California with Brittany Carl. That will be my last event of 2018. And then 2019, we started all over again. And I did put a post out on Facebook today. I will run this throughout the period of the month. If you are committed to almost a full year of coaching, I'm offering a holiday holiday coaching package. Contact me as soon as possible. It's a 20-hour package. It's definitely a package that has great value and allow you to coach with me for about nine to 10 months. So if you want to take advantage of that, contact me on Facebook and I'll get back to you. I have about a half hour break right after this Facebook Live. Moving into the content portion of today's call, managing yourself in time. So what, what you want to be able to understand is that time is a commodity. Time is an asset. Now there are 86,400 seconds in every single day. That breaks down into minutes, 1,000. 440 minutes, one hour, one day, one week, one month, one day at a time. Now, anyone's in recovery 
understands the process of being present, being here, being now, but most importantly, one day at a time. What many people do will say they'll say things like, I have a long road to hoe. Oh my God, I have a long way to go. Then this is how a lot of people speak. Actually, it's midnight. So when it comes to time, you want to start to understand this dedicated blocks of time devoted to individual skill sets that I'm learning one day at a time. Now, many people will try and fit it in. They try to wing it, and they try and wing time, and time, time doesn't operate like that because when you wing it, you are a addicted winger. Addicted winger typically also lives in an O-V-E-R-W-H- E L M E D overwhelm state. This is an overwhelm state of unconsciousness, meaning that you will spend a lot of your time doing that which is familiar. If you find yourself overwhelmed, that means that you that you have a tolerance to being overwhelmed and you're a maintenance addict. You're able to maintain a semblance of life while being overwhelmed. Now, if you're chronically overwhelmed all the time, I'm always worried, and this is how you communicate to yourself and others, well, then that means that you are chronic. It means that's who you are, what I do, what I am. I get up, I go to bed, I'm overwhelmed when I wake up, I'm overwhelmed when I go to night. That means you're a chronic over-obligator, codependent, and you derive your self-confidence by giving away your power, fixing people up, enabling them, giving more to them than you'd ever give yourself, putting yourself last, putting everyone else first, even though some of that is are good qualities, typically it leads to apathy. Apathy is when you're despondent. You're overwhelmed by your own set of feelings, emotionally intoxicated by a set of feelings. That's an effect, what is the cause? And what that does is it robs you of your most valuable commodity time. I, I coach many people who have children. I coach mothers who have children. They have one, two, three, or four kids. They're stay-at-home moms. They actually, that's a full-time career. I commend them, but there are some moms who are really skilled at multitasking, and there are many moms who are not skilled, and they're multi-overwhelmed. And if you're multi-overwhelmed, you're going to be ineffective. You're unorganized, undisciplined, overwhelmed, and then you don't get around to it. And you're, you're searching for one sock to get the sock on your child so those two socks can get them out the door because if you're unorganized, overwhelmed state, and you're not skilled at managing yourself in time. If you rebel against yourself, time will not be an asset. If you rebel against structure, order, discipline, having a method, a system, or a routine, then there's a high probability that you're addicted to being overwhelmed. Now, being overwhelmed and not being able to manage self in time, not time management, because on a clock, you can't stop the, top, the, the, the hand, the, the second hand, because the minute hand will continue to run. If you put your fingers on both of them, if you take it off the wall, if you break it, if you unplug it, time does not stop because you stop the clock. You can have a stopwatch, but that does not stop time. A stopwatch measures time, but also you have to understand that this, you require dedicated blocks of time devoted to new skills, habits, and mindset specifically in the vocation that you have chosen to monetize. If you're in real estate, mortgage broker, if you're a lender, if you own your own business, if you own a franchise, you're a network marketer, direct sales professional, you're in real estate, real estate broker, real estate investor, any multitude of situations where you are responsible for self, you must be self-directed. And unfortunately, many people, when it comes to time, they are very good, which means they're very bad, they're very good at this, and I'll spell this out for you, and it's, here we go, waste of time, time wasted. Now, what many, do, many people do is they burn their most valuable commodity time. They waste their most valuable commodity time. They intellectualize their most valuable commodity time. They process in their time. They get ready to get ready in their time. They chronically avoid succeeding or avoid failing whatever modality that they're holding on to. They continue to perpetuate the same set of feelings over and over, creating the same outcome. Now, when you are no longer the mind-body connection to the events, you can separate your feelings from the events. If you're unstructured and undisciplined, and if you wing it, 
you will have challenges mastering your emotions because it's your emotions that lead to mastering yourself so you can dedicate yourself in blocks of time because you can't manage time. You want to let go of that statement and understand in context what it really means. If you live in clutter and chaos, if you're a pack rat, if you're a hoarder, if you can't throw things out, if you have challenges with multiple situations that lead to the, a waste of your time and then you find yourself always behind if you're chronically late. So these are some of the effects of time wasting. To be able to manage self, to be able to have command of your emotions because that's, that's how time, to be able to be dedicated to blocks of time is to develop a routine, a system. That means that in this process of self-awareness and self-discovery, that you become this, these two words. And these are two very important words in this process. So the first word is self. And you're able to understand that self does not mean selfish. There's a connotation that much of the world connects self and fish to the same word, selfish. It's very selfish of me to want to be able to spend time with myself. It's very selfish of me to rest. It's very selfish of me to put myself first. That's how many people communicate with their self. But it's very important that when it comes to self, that you are self directed. Now, this is a key component right here self directed, that you become and stay self directed. And what does that actually mean? It means that. I am in command of my emotions, I am in a position that I'm letting go of control, that I'm not in control of being out of control, I'm not controlling an outcome, I'm letting go of control. Control means I'm not anxious about outcomes that haven't happened, I'm focused on results and solutions. I'm able to adapt and adjust quickly, it means I'm flexible, it means I am enough, I'm lovable, I'm capable, I'm good enough. And as you transmute these feelings energetically and emotionally, you begin to raise the vibration. So rather than being down here, you start to elevate self up here. That elevation of self then becomes awareness, which is consciousness. Consciousness is understanding. The egoic left brain constantly tries to make sense of it. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So when someone says to me, does that make sense? Does that make sense? I go, I understand. Understanding is an integration. It's an integration of the context and the application and the delivery so that it's all one with. I understand meaning I know. I know that I waste time. That's how you speak. I'm committed to changing that behavior now. That, that It begins now, not after the holidays not tomorrow, not when everything is perfect now. Now is now, now is time. Time is the most valuable commodity you possess because it's a bank account. Every day you deplete time and every day you receive new time. You don't, you don't receive time back and you can't go backwards in time and you, can't, you have to let go of the regret of how you've wasted time and let go of the anxiety of what's going to happen in a time frame in the future. Focus on being present by also developing clearly defined short-term goals that you can accomplish. I'm a big thinker. I want to achieve $100,000 next year. Well, that's great, but do you have a routine? Do you have a habit? Do you have a method? Do you have any momentum? Do you have, do you have any centrifugal energy created this year in 2018 that's going to carry over to 2019? Have you achieved a rank? Are you creating any money? Are you at ground zero, getting ready to get ready, setting big goals so you can be big disappointment? Now, if that's what you consistently do, change. You change your behavior by a commitment. You commit by your mouth by saying, I am committed. You commit with follow through with your action and your body follows. Your body's going to have challenges following and you say, I need to commit, which is a contradiction. I am committed. I commit now. That starts to create a different sense of time, cause, meaning, and purpose. When you are cause-driven, when you have meaning, you understand what it means to commit, you feel the commitment. When you are committed, I am committed. When you, when you, when you transmute energy from commitment, it becomes, mag it becomes magnetic. People begin to feel it. That magnetism attracts other like-minded success seekers 
that are in alignment with your cause, your purpose, and your meaning. This starts to create what is called synchronicity. You'll attract your reality more frequently, people of like consciousness. Not so much a like mind, but a like consciousness. It's just, and your consciousness is your awareness. And once you live in this state of consciousness, this elevated state of awareness, now you know. And when you know, there is no doubt. Now, if you know that you're capable of achieving six figures in a calendar year, and that's anywhere from 100,000 to, to six nines, that's 999, comma, 999, period, two zeros. That would be six figures. That would actually be multiple six figures. If you know that and you're committed to that, and that's important to you, then your body will follow through on it. But if you're uncertain, in doubt, anxious, in fear, and your mouth still says it, your mouth will say it typically in an unconscious, uncommitted way. I'd really like to. I'm going to. But see, going to and liking to are future tense with no commitment. I am committed. I am committed. So th this, is, this is the tunnel you look through right here. And you keep your eyes down and right up ahead so it's short term. It's your short term commitments that lead to the compounded effect. This is what effectively allows you to understand time. When you have time consciousness, you're aware of time. You look at the clock and you know that you're on task. You're not late, you're on time. Because time is timeliness. And when you're on time, you'll attract other like-minded success seekers who also value time. Now there's a price tag on time and you place a, you place a value in time by what what is one hour of my time worth? What is one hour of my time worth? So ask yourself that. Now, when you start to value your time and you have a monetary price tag on it, let's start with a rounded off number of $200 an hour. So if your time is worth $200 an hour, there's a much higher probability that you won't waste as much of it as you have in the past. And here are some of the reasons that you'll have challenges with time. Number one, you're an addicted codependent. You're either a maintenance addict in codependence or you're a chronic addict in codependence, meaning that you over-obligate, over-give, do more for others than you ever do for self, are completely out of balance in life don't have any structure, don't have any order, you're constantly running around being an errand boy, an errand girl, saying yes to everything. You take on more projects than you can possibly handle because you're too guilty to set a boundary, so you say yes, 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 and oftentimes you live in resentment because you resent yourself and others who place these burdens on you, and then you don't have the emotional discipline to say, I'm going to pass on this opportunity. I appreciate you offering, but I'm going to go ahead and let it go. And you will also move out of explain, justify, validate, and to have a better value of time, you condense your communication style. So when someone asks you a question, you answer the question rather than telling a story. And most people's story goes like this, on and on and on and on and on and on, so that a yes-no question becomes a sentence, a paragraph, a chapter, a book, a trilogy, a four, a four facta, multitudes of situations in encyclopedia, meaning that a large percent of society talks too much, wasting their most valuable commodity time, not understanding that the people who, are, who value time typically have a shorter attention span, around 28 to 45 seconds, and routinely 28 to 31 seconds. This is the attention span of a highly evolved person. People who talk too much talk in riddles and they go on and on and on and on and on and on. Now, the power of 15 minutes. Now, you can take any hour and break it down into four segments, into 15 minute segments. Now, if you're conducting interviews, you want to be able to conduct an interview in anywhere from five to 15 minutes. That means you'll be able to conduct four interviews per hour effectively. An interview should never take or never require more than 15 minutes in any given situation. That means you're able to fact find, rapport build, ask questions in a sequence, understand, read the situation for what it is, use your intuition, your extrasensory perception, and most importantly, you know. You know where to devote your time. And you move out of this 
well, I'm going to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Well, that's good. You give everyone the benefit of the doubt. But that means you're not reading the situation for what you read. You want to let go of any preconceived judgments that you may have, and you start to live in a place where you understand. You listen for tells, signals, cues, clues. You hear the ums, uh-huh, yeah, okay, sure. You're able to hear that people aren't committed. So if you value time, you'll be able to pick on other people who don't value their time, and you'll be able to let them go easily, effectively, without feeling like you robbed them of an opportunity. The MMO might miss out or FMO, fear of missing out. You're able to easily and effortlessly let go by separating your feelings from the effects and the events of what's happening so that you become very effective in time. And in any kind of business, all sales have their own selling cycle. Some products, services, benefits, and features have a longer selling cycle than other. Many products people buy spontaneously. They buy emotionally. They buy on command. They buy on the spot. And if you're selling products, benefits, and features that have some of those type of situations, then you want to be able to assist the customer, the client, the prospect to create a decision in a relatively short period of time. Time is 86,400 seconds, 1,440 minutes. And if you want to be a crusher or if you want to crush it, then you're skilled at the results, the solutions, and the outcomes. And you do this by value, valuing your time. You want to be able to have conversations that lead to the benefits, the features, the compounded effect, the results, the solutions, and then the money moves. It goes into your bank account or your company's bank account and then comes back into your bank account. That is called commerce. And that commerce that you create, you should be able to create this in a relatively short period of time. Now, is your time valuable? Is your time wasted? Is your time an asset or is it a liability? Now, my time is very, very valuable. I, I believe, and since it's my belief, and I understand, and I know, I know that my time is valuable, and I don't doubt my time. I don't wonder if people are going to buy from me because I'm not valuable. I know my value, and I'm constantly raising my value. I don't raise my rates. I raise my value. As you begin to raise your value, you can start to command more in the free market. So when you become priceless, then you can put you, when you become when your content is so good, then you can ask for a high value for your time. But if your time is if your time isn't valuable and you're not good enough and you're not sure and you're uncertain, then there's no value in your time. And unfortunately, you'll spend your time avoiding creating value in time. As you begin to separate your feelings from the facts, as you let go of situations that no longer serve you, as you move into a higher level of consciousness, understanding, awareness, knowing, and trust, the value of your energy is enhanced. And your, as your energy is escalated, people begin to feel that you're more valuable. And as you understand that, you can command more in free enterprise. So your service and your value is what you're, what you're really marketing along with the benefits, features, products, services. And, and the dream and all the other situations that you're marketing, but most importantly, it's your energy. Now, if you have a low value, you're gonna have low energy. If you, if, you feel, if you feel you are valuable, not an inflated value, not an egotistic value, but a spiritual value that you know that you've been through a lot in your life and that you have a lot to offer and that you can impart wisdom, you're a sage walking the planet, offering people sage advice who seek it, in spirituality and in community and collaboration you're able to offer support to people you're able to offer your services your benefits your features you're able to offer your content your knowledge and see when you're able to do this with people it starts to enhance your value and as you start to live in that space then you're not in this place doubt anxiety and fear when you live in doubt anxiety and fear you have a very low value when you understand when you know when you are aware then your value is different. Now you're raising your value ladder. So your time goes from $25 an hour to $50 an hour to $75 an hour to $100 an hour on up to $200, $250, $300, $400, $500. All of a sudden, an hour of your time is worth $500. Where will you devote it? So when you're, if you're in production, you're going to devote it where it's going to bring you the greatest return in energy. If you're in relaxation, your time is also valuable because that time you want to be able to devote it what's going to give you feelings. And those type of feelings, 
That's challenging to do if you're guilty when you didn't devote your energy to production time and now it's your relaxation time and now you've diminished your relaxation time because you're guilty. Your relaxation time is equally as important and valuable as your production time because that's your joy time. Now your careers can bring you great joy but you also want to experience joy when you should be experiencing joy. That means you're not on your telephone with your family. You're attentive. You're aware. You're in the game. You're at dinner with people. You're not like this, going like, like this. You're not all over your phone. You're right here. You're here, you're now, and you're present. As you begin to create more value in self, other people will see your value. As you begin to let go of your anxieties, your fears, and doubt, as you're no longer in anger, hate, resentment, guilt, shame, abandonment, rejection, overwhelmed feelings, grief, and apathy, now you're starting to elevate your energy, which also elevates your value, which elevates the value of your time. What's going to bring me the greatest return on my energy? What's going to bring me the greatest return on my time? What is my greatest value? What service, benefit, and feature can I offer that people will see value? And I mean, this is this is how you start to value time. Because time, we collect it. So we collect 86,400 seconds a day, broken down into 1,440 minutes into one hour. In two hours, you should be able to dedicate blocks of time to honing your craft, enhancing your skills, developing purpose, value, service, meaning and cause. That's what you, you learn the skill set of your vocation. What's the cornerstone of that skill set? Well, if it's sales, branding and marketing, it's going to be content writing, asking questions in a sequence, effectively qualifying people for your time, doing three-way calls for teammates, mentoring teammates in 15-minute increments. I used to do mentoring sessions with my teammates when I had businesses, and I would I would devote 15 minutes a di, uh, 15 minutes to certain teammates in my team, but I wouldn't devote an hour, a half hour, or two hours. I would also do mastermind alliances group, one of more of like mind coming together for common cause, and I typically did that in groups of three, five, and seven, and I found that very effective as it would bring a culture, a team, a unit and an office together. So that's how you compound time. That's how you compress time. My name is Jeffrey Combs, president and founder of Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. This book, The Breakthrough Factor, is for sale on Amazon today as a downloadable product for 99 cents. We've also, we've already surpassed some of the top selling authors as this book went on sale this morning. Some of the top selling authors early this morning we were at number 18. As I see just recently, we were moving closer and closer to the top of that. I'll be in Fort Myers, Florida on Thursday receiving an award for being an Amazon bestseller and also interviewed on a television station there, Atlanta, Georgia, this Saturday. If you're watching this content, you've been considering hiring me and you value your time, you can contact me on Facebook in my inbox. I'm offering right now a 20-hour package at a great value, and you can contact me immediately, and I will, I will share that value with you. My name is Jeffrey Combs. Now, two weeks from today is Christmas. I'll be taking Christmas off for the More Heart Than Talent call, and one week from today will be the 18th. I'll be right here with you live, and that will be the last call of the calendar year to, let's see, I'll be doing the 31st as well. So I'll see you on the 18th, Facebook Live, More Heart Than Talent. You have a great day. Thank you for listening to the More Heart Than Talent radio. If you enjoyed today's content and would like more insight and education to the breakthrough process, you can get my new Breakthrough Factor audio training for free today. It's seven hours of breakthrough content to assist you to break through in life and business. This training is currently for sale on my website for $497, but I'm giving it to you for free as a bonus to persuade you to try my new coaching program called the Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle. It's my proven system to teach everyday people and entrepreneurs how to break through to success. When you join the Jeffrey Combs Inner Circle, you will participate in two private video coaching calls per month that you and my other members receive access to. On each call, the first half, I'll be teaching the skill of the week and giving you an assignment related to the topic. You will have the opportunity to post your homework in my private JCIC Facebook group. 
The Facebook group is a place where you can interact with me, my Golden Mastermind team, and other JCIC members. On the second half of the coaching call, I'll be coaching JCIC members one-on-one -on -one live for you to observe. As a member, you can register for your own live one-on-one -on -one coaching session during this call. They're all recorded and posted in the JCIC members area for you to review while you are an active member. You will also receive a new member's welcome kit in my new Breakthrough Factor audio program absolutely free for joining. You can sign up today for just $197. This is no ordinary coaching program. Sign up now to begin your breakthrough process now. Go to goldenmastermind.com forward slash circle to get started today.